And let's get over to your first alert weather because we are looking ahead now to the weekend. Black yeah. Friday shopping, Christmas tree hunting, and we want to know how the weather is going to hold up for that. Do all that on Sunday. Okay, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> the next couple of days, it's not going to be kind of like what we saw today. I want to show you visibility right now across the Metroplex, uh, two miles or less in some spots. So keep that in mind if you're going to be heading on the road right now, packing up all the leftovers, going back home. Uh, we're still dealing with the uh, visibility issues across a lot of North Texas. So uh, with the Texas travel forecast. If you're waiting until tomorrow, we have rain still in the forecast later in the day in North Texas. So you could see a better driving conditions in the morning hours on Saturday. Still some rain around as this upper level low is still moving its way overhead. But then you can see on Sunday we have sunshine across the board. So maybe that's when you put up those outside decorations. And you can see on the satellite and radar combined, it's a different story off towards the west into the northwest up near Amarillo, the Lubbock area. That's where we're continuing to see some snow wrapping. Its way around uh, this upper level low, but the rain continues for us here in North Texas. It will continue on that southwest to northeast flow, tapering off just a bit out towards the west. And you can see across the Metroplex, Dallas County, a lot of rain right now, Denton County and Tarrant County, some scattered showers around. So off and on, that will continue through the remainder of the night. You see that on the first alert future cast. As we go into tonight, uh, that rain tapers off. Still some drizzle around for you. It's going to be really cloudy tomorrow morning. Uh, some scattered showers out to the west, continuing to spread their way from southwest to north. But I want to point out late Friday, into early Saturday. That's when we start to see some more widespread rain on the way as the upper level low is tracking right overhead. So Saturday morning, a whole lot of rain for you as you go through your morning hours, even into the afternoon hours. Now the surface low pressure is also going to work its way to the northeast. So we eventually start to taper off late Saturday and then into Sunday uh, that clouds finally clear on out. How much more rain can we expect? Well, in some spots, an additional inch to two to three inches of rain. Already some spots have picked up as much as two and a half to three inches of rain. Rain uh, from yesterday and through today. Here's that upper pattern I'm talking about. There's the area of low pressure. It's going to be a slow mover. So here we are going into Saturday, and then by Sunday we see that lift its way far enough to the northeast that we taper off. But rain chances Saturday 90%. Still some more rain back into the forecast Tuesday. Another round of rain as we go into next weekend. Right now, though, Sunday at Square, it's a soggy one. Some people are out taking pictures, looking beautiful. 55 right now with a north northeast wind at 15, gusting to 21. We're at 54 Bridgeport. 50 56 Lancaster to still the low to the mid 50s across all of North Texas, low 60s in our southeast county. So the next six hours, not much of a change with temperatures 55, 56 degrees. Rain chances eventually tapering off. And then overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, not much of a change. We might dip down to the low 50s to the upper 40s. We will see temperatures tomorrow holding in the mid 50s again with that rain sticking around. But then on Sunday, when we see that sunshine return, that's when we start to warm back up to near 60. We're into the low 70s by two. Tuesday, a uh, front moves through with it, some, some small rain chances, and then we're cold again by next Thursday morning, 36 degrees.